and uh, the one, the hook I'm using, the size, I'm going to tie a size 14. This is the Fully Mill, it's the ultimate dry fly, size 14. The thread I'm going to be using is the Uni Thread 8 in Yellow. The first thing I do is just take it a length and run the wax through it. And then you run your fingers through as you pull it back in, and you hear it, it takes away the excess. Start short of the eye, and we take the thread halfway down, remove the waist, and then come halfway back up to this point here. Just check the length, uh, but there you go. Now we've got some teal feathers, some large teal. Now I'm going to use six or so fibres, you can, you can actually count them. Uh, take them off, make sure the tips are lined up. Then we tie the tips in on top, a couple of turns with the natural curve of the, of the feathers going up and away from the hook. I'm going to use this to form the loop, making sure it's sitting on the area where I want, just lifting the hair. So we take it, push it forward, form the loop, and you're looking around about the length. At least the length of the shank is slightly longer. Catch it on the top, lift, two or three turns in front just to lift the wing. At this point you can always check to see the length of your wing, make sure it's okay. Now I'm happy with that. And then what I do is I trim this away and angle it the back. This will help give you a taper towards the back. Now what I'm going to do is separate, so separate three either side. Here's my dubbing needle. Let's check where you are. Looks okay. You're happy. You can then quite simply separate them. There we are. And there's your, your loop. Your loop wing. Now, as I said, what I'm going to do here is just encourage it to sit up a bit more. Two or three more turns in front. This will help separate them as well, then bring a thread to the back, continue down the body. Now I keep my tips, my finger at, right at the end of the cut, the cut ends of the teal as a wind, and this will control them, stop some flips uh, spreading out. And then we get to the point where it's just before it goes around the bend, and we tie in some cotton de Leon fibres. Now this is a what they call a light speckled. Now just bring out two or three fibres. I'm going to get another one. I'm going to show you a full feather so you can see what it looks like. There we are. It's a full feather here. And this is the, the company that makes, uh, sells these. This is where I got these. Now, what you want to do is just lift out fibres, take away the fluff. Now, I like a few fibres in for a tail. So if you bring them 90 degrees from the stem, they'll line up, tear it out. You're looking four to six fibres anyway. Tail length, round about the shank to the hook length. Just catch that on the top, now that turn is onto the bare hook. Now what I do is keep a hold of the tips, come underneath, once some by, and then use this to lift and separate the fibres. And that gives you your tail. Then what I'm going to do here is trim away the excess. Now the body, as I say, it's blue and yellow macaw. That's it there. Now what I'm going to do is tie in to near the bottom, right at the butt section of these fibres. Take away these curl ends, because I want some of the yellow barring, you see. Much like you would get, now, just to tie it in wrong there, you want to have the yellow side on top and the blue under. Now I need two to get out the way up, I need two fibres so that I can get to the top. Now before I get any further, I'm just going to check to see how these are going to come on. Just check and see how they're going to sit. Now, just a wee bit close towards the tail, so I'm going to go back to see, always check, see how they're going to sit. It makes it easier. It's going to come up a wee bit because the yellow thread is part of the body. So if you want it to taper, and I want it to taper, so I'm going to go up a wee bit further. And then we take the thread up and come back down, just trying to fill the space that the blue and yellow macaw is formed, there's a wee space there, a wee step which I don't like. Now what I'm going to do is wind over some some super glue and then wind both together 
the leading edge should be the blue see it like there just like a just looks like turkey by even it's fine at that I just want to try and get as much as the yellow and blue mix that's why I'm tying it in down there and you see it makes for a lovely body trim away the waist is there now what I'm going to use is a grizzle hackle I've got a saddle here it's going to bear the stem catch it in on this side, the back of the wing come down, just watch the ring, just lift it back and then I'm going to wind three to four turns at the back and this size then just lift the wing towards the back and make sure you're close to the, the root or the centre or the front of the wing you don't want to have a space and then we want to wind down we're happy we come across two or three turns and trim away the waist trim away anything going forward to the eye just checking there, that's fine now what I'm going to do is make sure there's wax on the thread at this point now I'm just going to draw back I'd rather draw back the fibres may mess up the wing a wee bit but we'll sort it, don't worry we can whip finish tighten up and then trim away the thread at this point, while everything's laying back out of the way, we can then just touch the head let the varnish, it's a very fine varnish, it's soaking in towards the thread turns, we can take any excess away with a, with a needle, do a dummy needle clean the eye and there we are just a wee quick look at the wing and the haggle that looks okay Now it's not a fly I've tied, uh, to be honest with you, I've never fished one. It's just an interesting style. I um, want to make sure there's plenty of room at the front, just basically to keep with the, the style of the fly that I was given. It's quite a plenty of room at the front, so we stick to that. And uh, as I say, it looks, it certainly looks the part. It is an old pattern as far as I believe. The gentleman that originally tied this is no longer with us. It's, um, but anyway, that's the, the loop wing dry fly, so I hope you enjoyed that. Mm -hmm.